Hello and welcome to Scientifically Speaking. Uh, my phone doesn't have anti-shake, so I'm sorry about the visuals if they're uh, knobbed to your liking. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Scientific Lee's garden, which, due to the rain, is massively covered in grass, which means the thousands of mosquitoes, can we see them? The thousands of mosquitoes that are about to eat me alive are going to eat me alive. Okay, today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about the EM field of the planet. Now, the EM field is electricity that way, magnetism that way. Now, that's not the be on the end of it, because that's electricity and magnetism, and that's magnetism and electricity, because it's a double helix, and that's why it's called electromagnetism. But the general construction of a Birkeland current is electricity, magnetism, electricity, magnetism. Trees, obviously, do this. Magnetism does that. So, trees go up because the trunk, when you see something like this, obviously that's not a trunk. You're getting bits of bits. What it is, is a Birkeland current tube. And that's why it's hollow. That's why you'll see it's hollow. Excuse me, hands have just got in from work. My tiling, you know. There we go. There's my arm there, just all covered in crud. <laughs> so this is a Birkeland current tube. It had, uh, let's just say for benefit's sake, clockwise on the inside, counterclockwise on the outside. This, of course, causes a uh, interference zone, which creates two circles within those two beams. And so you get a tube. Trees are exactly the same. Electrical, upwards. The branches going sideways are magnetic. Now, what's happening? to the EM field. Well, the EM field is collapsing. Now, some people have said that the EM field is compressing. Uh, no, that's not what's happening. Um, the EM field is shrinking, and so the atmosphere is being compressed. Now, I've said this on uh, videos before, which is why we see those big, massive, curly clouds very, very low in the sky now, like a massive rotating tube, which is obviously a Birkeland current. So, today we come to these trees. I've done a video about this before, and it's good that all this is now grown, because if anybody remembers that video, they'll remember there wasn't a lot here. Now, I said that these two trees went hollow. Why did they go hollow? And the explanation I gave at that time is, this is the electric beam, this is the magnetism. This is a Birkeland current tube. So was that one. That is a Birkeland current tube. Birkeland current tube. Every single tree in here is a Birkeland current tube. Thousands of them getting bigger and bigger and bigger to form a, a trunk. So why on earth would the middle disintegrate before the outside? Well, if you cut off the Birkeland current beam, that tree will immediately die. Just think about that. There's no energy in it anymore. That'd be like somebody stopping you from drinking and eating. They took away your source of energy. The thing that's pushing energy out of the ground and water out of the ground by dielectrics is uh, a Birkeland current. Sorry, I'm just getting so bit. It's just, you look at your buggers dead. So, there's no beam in that tree, so it died from the inside out. That's the only reason it's hollow. This one did it too. And the way that I said that at the time was, there was never any trees here, not one. Now there's a pile of them. These trees are what those trees were. But nothing ever germinated here. Never. I could just mow this. It's only been in the last five, seven years that these trees have grown here. Why would they do that? Why are there now trees growing in between them? We had two main beams. So I just want you to try and imagine this little... Uh, explanation this is your tree so there's your beam branches at the top now if that beam is retracted this bit still stays but this bit is now on the ground so the beam that was up here is now here so there is no massive main beam there was two beams here and now we have one two three four five six seven there's about eight Smaller trees in here. Not one big beam, but eight. So as it pulls down, the fractal nature 
of electricity and magnetism made it so that what's sticking out the ground now is just something like that. That's what that is. So the reason trees are hollow is because they're dying from the inside because the Earth's magnetic field is retracting back into the planet. And so the atmosphere is being compressed and so there's more energy buildup which will result in uh, more electrical strikes and lightning storms because all the energy that's coming from the sun is now being contained in less of an atmosphere and with less of a shield. So that's the reason they're holes. And uh, fires aren't getting started because trees are hollow. Fires get started because uh, things get too hot or there's a lightning strike because trees are attached to the sky. The sky and the trees are literally one, same as the sky and the tree, uh, the tree and the ground are literally one. The tree and the underneath the ground are not one. There is an inertia line. The inertia line is the top of these trees. That's the inertia line. The highest height they can go is the inertia line to the next level, which they cannot cross. Clouds sit on top of an inertial level. Radiation goes up, hits the inertial level, and moisture produces the clouds due to different directions of magnetic field and different pressures. So the simple point is, electricity, which was going upwards, disappeared and shrank into the ground. And then the inside of the tree died. And then these grew, because there isn't two beams anymore. There's five or six, but they're a lot weaker. And the problem, when you have a... <coughs> So the electric field of the Earth uh, is diminishing and the magnetic field of the Earth is diminishing. And uh, on a previous video, I had stated that electrified nitrogen kills germs and viruses. So if the Earth's atmosphere is no longer as electrified as it was, what did say, God say was going to happen? Pestilence was going to arrive? Yeah, because... Pff, because there's not enough electricity electrifying the nitrogen to kill all the varieties of different viruses and bugs. So if there was more energy, like if God was here, there would never be any viruses. That's why they say disease is at the edge of God, where his power starts waning. Not waning, but you know what I mean. At the edge of his skirts, let's say. That's where the disease goes before him, because it's at the edge of him. And so it's less electrified. The closer God gets, or anything that's bad, anything that sins, is destroyed by the energy contained within. So bugs and viruses cannot live in an electrified nitrogen atmosphere. And so if our electric field goes down, we're all gonna get sick as dogs. Pestilence is coming because the atmosphere is lowering, its power is less, the sun seems to be heating up and has now gone white, which means it's given out more energy which only means our planet will heat up more, which will destroy the magnetism within it, which is why the magnetic field is collapsing. And while it's collapsing, it is compressing the atmosphere. And that's about the long and short of it. Trees are hollow. You've had the reason, no more beam. And uh, it's not just hollow trees that burst into flames. I've put a video up before that shows lightning strikes and how they hit trees and how it proves that the trees are attached to the sky. So anyway, I hope everybody learned something relatively new that they hadn't heard before or hopefully this was a refresher to show that anything on this ground going up is attached to the sky. Every blade of grass is like a piece of static electricity that went through a DNA electrical frequency code was read and displayed as magnetism, which just happens to be a piece of grass. Trees, exactly the same. A static electromagnetic reaction through a DNA electrical coded frequency DNA. And this is the uh, magnetic uh, construction of the electrical signal through DNA. Thanks very much. My name is Lee, I follow the Christ. And it's a beautiful day, but boy are the mozzies out. Thanks a lot, bye.